Good morning, friends. How are you today? Miss Kim here. It is kind of a beautiful morning. It's been raining a lot this week, but it looks cloudy out. You might see the sunshine a little bit today. I still have it as cloudy over here. I wanted to do our calendar after we sing our good morning song. So if you can join in and sing with me, it's good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, I'm fine, how are you? How are you, friends? I'm doing good this morning. Before we jump into calendar, I wanted to talk to you about something. Do any of you remember this friend from our classroom? Do you remember him? Remember he has a zipper? And we can put things in him, right? What do we put in this guy? Do any of you remember? He is a worry eater. So if you have a worry, if you have something that's bothering you, or making you feel sad or frustrated, worried about something or upset, you can ask a grown-up and they can help you write it down and then you just stick it inside the worry eater. Now, if you don't have a worry eater like I do, you can use any old stuffed animal. Here's a little duck and you can just ask the duck to sit on your worries or sit on your troubles. You could draw a picture if you don't want to write the words or if your grown-ups are doing something and you can't help out, you can draw a picture. You can just talk to your friend and say, this is making me feel sad today. And I wanted to share that this week as we go into summer and summer might look a little bit differently for some people. And so always remember, you can use your worry eater if you have one. Um, I got mine from Target. They have them on Amazon too. Also, Remember, you can use any stuffed animal you like. You can talk to it. Look, I even have a dragon from Dragon Loves Tacos. You can use any stuffed animal. You know what you can also use? A pillow. You can hug a pillow when you're feeling sad. Anything works. Especially, excuse me, if you're having a hard time kind of saying what might be making you feel sad or upset, sometimes you don't have to use your words and you can just hug something, you can just squeeze something, you can just draw, there's so many things you can do. So I know this has been kind of a silly week for me, and so I have been hugging my pillow, and putting notes in my worry eater, and talking to the people that I love, and helping me through this week. And so anytime anyone has a hard day or a hard week, there's always something we can do, and there's always someone that wants to help and listen and be your friend or be you know one of your family members that just loves you so much so friends if you are feeling sad anytime you can always talk to your grown-ups your family your friends and you can always talk even to your stuffies okay i really wanted to share that this week i hope that you all remember that today at one o'clock there is a parade to say bye to our school year um we had our class parade um, a week ago and that was fantastic. I hope you all can make it today. If you can't, please don't worry. I am not able to make it today and I'm really sorry friends. I'd love to see you again, but hopefully we will see each other again soon. Um, Miss Lori is going to be there and she'll have our picture. She'll be waving it around. So blow her lots of kisses and make sure to wave a big hello. I'm going to wave now and blow my kisses to you now. And I hope that it is a great weekend for everyone. And I'll be back with some more videos next week. I'm going to go ahead and do some fish and an octopus craft with some paper plates. So if you guys want to get paper plates over the weekend or a piece of paper that you can cut into a circle, then we can do those crafts together next week, okay? We're going to make a fish and an octopus together. And all you need is paper and something to decorate the paper with, whether that's tissue papers and glue crayons, markers, whatever works for you, paint, anything. Okay, friends? All right, let's get to our calendar. So we are in the last few days of this month called May with this big M over here. All right, next month will be June. So next week when we do our video, it will be June 1st. That's so cool. All right, my friends, yesterday was Thursday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Today is Friday. All right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seven days in a week. So today, 
I'm going to move this from the 27th to, what is this number? With a 2 and a 9. It says 29. So let's go ahead and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Wow, that is a big number. Let's try clapping that out too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That was a big number, huh, friends? Kiss your brain. That was a lot of counting. All right. So I'm going to make another video, and I'm going to read some books, so I'll post that on our Facebook page. I don't think I can post the book reading on our YouTube page. But I would love it if you guys can watch them. Check it out. Let me know which platform works better for you so I can get more things to do. Love you all. Have a great day and a great weekend with your families.